Hello friends, welcome to Bright Geeks channel. If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. This helps the channel to grow and motivates me to make new videos. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install Chime 2 using VirtualBox. First, go to Google and type Chime 2 and hit enter. Open the first Chime 2 link. Once opened, look for the Docs tab on top of the website and click on it. Further, click on Installing Chime 2 link. And then click on Installing Chime 2 using Virtual Machines link. Here, we have three different installation platforms which are VirtualBox, Amazon Web Services, and Docker. You can select the appropriate platforms, I'm going to use VirtualBox, so I'm selecting the VirtualBox option. Before proceeding to download, we need at least 25 GB free space for downloading and installing the virtual image. Later, you can delete the unzipped files to get back the used space. First we need to install the VirtualBox in our PC. I have already made a video on downloading and installing the VirtualBox. Check the link mentioned in the description. The second step is to download the VirtualBox image. By clicking on the VirtualBox image link. Here we have a list of images based on their release, build, and compatibility to VirtualBox software. I'm going to download the 2020.2 version. Just copy the link and paste on the address bar. The download will start automatically. Hence it's a large file, it may take a while for downloading based on your internet connection. Once downloaded, just unzip the package. After unzipping the package, we can see two files with .ovf and .vmdk extension. The .ovf file contains default settings designed by the developer to run the Chime 2. The .vmdk file is the actual image file, using which we can manually install the virtual image. First let's see how to use the .ovf file and install the virtual image. Now open the VirtualBox software. For using the .ovf file, just click on the import button in the VirtualBox tool. Then locate the extracted .ovf file and click OK. In the next window, we can see the virtual image configuration details like name, OS type, CPU, and RAM. I am leaving the CPU cores to default, if you know the exact core details, you can allot 50% of the total cores. Now I am only increasing the RAM to 4 GB, then click import. You can also change the base installation folder where your virtual image will be stored, depending on the space availability of your drive. Finally click import and wait till it finishes the import. Once imported, we can see the Chime virtual image ready for boot up. Once the Chime 2 virtual machine is successfully installed, we need to modify few settings to enable the copy and paste functionality between the host and virtual machine. For that, just go to settings in the general tab and select advanced option and change the settings of shared clipboard and drag and drop option from disable to bidirectional. And also, we need to create a shared folder to transfer files between the host computer and virtual machine. For that, just click on Shared Folder option, further select Add Share option, select the folder path, add a folder name, and check the Read Only and Auto Mount option. Now let's fire up the virtual machine, just select the virtual machine and select Start, just wait until you see the login page. In the login page use the password as Chime2 and login. Once logged in, open the terminal to check the Chime 2 installation status, for that just type Chime space info and hit enter. This will list all the plugins installed and their status. That's it guys, we have successfully installed the Chime 2 software in VirtualBox. In the next videos let's see how to perform metagenomic analysis. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Stay safe, peace.